I'm Laura Tryon Jennings. I was asked from the folks over at the Art Complex Museum to give a little studio tour as a way of keeping our community connected during these crazy times. So I am going to do that for you. Um, I teach uh, oil painting classes over at the Art Complex Museum as well as a place called Hope Floats Wellness and Healing Center in Kingston, Massachusetts. And here in my studio in Marshfield, I teach um, private and group classes. So um, I'm really, really missing my students. I, um, I just can't even get over how much I'm missing them right now. Uh, so I started doing some Zoom classes and some FaceTime private classes, which are working out pretty well. Um, I'm new to all of this stuff and new to even doing something like this. This seems crazy to me, but um, I'm going to try. So I will proceed with walking into my studio and giving you a tour. All right, here we go. This is where I walk into my studio that is inside of my house, which I absolutely love. I mean, it just really works for me. I've had um, studios that have been outside of the house, but this just uh, makes me paint more. I get I can get up early in the morning and I can paint late at night and bebop around a little bit during the day. And it's just a, a wonderful way for me. Um, so I'll give you, I'll try to just give you a overall first before I start going zeroing in on a few things. Um, this just kind of gives you the lay of the land here in my studio. And um, this is just where the, I fall into the bubble. And I love that when that happens. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens pretty frequently. So this is basically the setup. Um, here is where I have all my paints and my brushes, and I always have a water and an ice uh, latte going usually <laughs> at the same time. Um, so most of my supplies are right there. And this is a painting that I'm um, working on right now. It's got about the first coat of paint on it pretty much. The second coat is into some of the landscape area and um, on the walls. And this is actually an, uh, getting ready for a solo exhibit at the Woodman Shimko Gallery, which is in Provincetown. And um, that's going to be from July 24th to August 6th. So I'm very, very excited about that. And I've been assured that the exhibit will happen. So that's great. And um, I'll show you some other pieces that are going to be going into the show. Um, so you'll get a nice little sneak peek. I, here's one right here. And here's another. Um, most of them are, they're all actually, well, most of them are interiors. This one is um, a bedscape. I've been working on a series of bedscapes for quite some time, which is all about vulnerability, which is a, a long story that um, I'm not going to <laughs> go into right now. And, um, and here are a few other pieces that are going to be in the show. Another bedscape. And in the interior, I'm very drawn to direct light sources um, filtering into a room and with window vistas and mostly water scenes because I've been living on the coast for many years and I just love the water. So there's a little bit of reflective light showing up on this one from the window, but it gives you an idea. And here's another piece that um, will be going into the show. And... There's some two other small pieces, well, smaller pieces that will be in the show. That gives you a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, I've got some really nice connections to Provincetown, which um, I just feel so fortunate to have been able to have been awarded a, two art residencies to live and work there. Um, one was through the Copley Society of Art and to live and work at the Fox Center, which is the Fine Art Work Center. The other art residency I had was at the Margot Kelp Dune Shack, and that was just fabulous. Um, that was actually through the Outer Cape Artist Residency Consortium. 
And um, these are actually a couple paintings that I did while I was living in that little dune shack. This was actually the scene from outside the windows there. And um, that's actually outside of another window. And these are just two little pieces. So these were just views from the shack. Um, those were just dreams come true, both of those residency. I loved that. And I also spent my honeymoon in P-Town. So I've got some really great connections there. And uh, I just, I adore it. I love going there and visiting and just the way the light falls in, around P-Town. It's just fabulous. So um, then, let's see, moving on from there. Um, these are just some little studies that I've been doing with my students on the Zoom class. I've been going through a lot of color theory kind of stuff. And we're doing some landscape work as well. And I've been also working on some plein air paintings. Um, and so many of those up there are some plein air pieces that I've been recently doing. Now they're, they're not all plein air, but most of them are. Um, so that's been a new kind of thing for me. I actually just got a new, a, uh, new easel, a plein air easel. So that's a blast. And here, um, is one of my serial series paintings, which actually is a homage to my mom. Um, another, all my work is very psychological, so I'm not going to uh, go into all of that in this little video, but um, I loved my mom and we were very close, so it's, um, they're all about my relationship with her, and I actually have another one over here. So, a couple of my serial series. And um, this is just an area where I just sit and uh, contemplate my paintings and try to figure out what I need to do and what's going wrong or what's going right. And I also have an expressive arts practice, so um, I sit down with clients and we get our mind, body, spirit together and um, figure out solutions to things that are going on in their lives. And here is a lovely painting by um, a good friend and artist who I greatly admire, Linda Pacheski. And here actually is the view of my studio um, that I get to paint from, which I feel so, so fortunate to do that. It's kind of a cloudy day today, so you don't get the clear sky. And actually, from this view, I can sometimes see P-Town. I can see the tower over there, and sometimes even the dunes on a clear day. So another connection to P-Town. Um, so here we go. Let's see. Um, this is, if we walk down this way, this is the other part of my studio, which is where all the art administrative stuff happens. On my computer and Oh, lots of things go on there. <laughs> and, um, and this is where all my paintings are held, um, which is still, I still need more room for paintings. It's just, you know, it's stacked full. And just file cabinets, files and files of things. I have all the paintings that are, I've done from photographs and um, I don't know, just, just a bunch of stuff isn't there. <laughs> and more filing, another little painting. Um, I think that's going to be going to, into the show as well. And this is actually um, back in my early part of my career. This was an article that my mother actually had framed for me. Uh, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's when my kids were really little, they used to play at my feet and um, I would paint. And then my daughter was a baby and so sometimes I'd actually have to hold her and paint at the same time. Um, so fun. <laughs> and um, there's another little piece, little landscape up in uh, Bass Harbor, Maine. So um, I think that pretty much concludes our little studio tour. Um, you can see I've got a lot of books that I go through. Some of my favorite artists are there. This has also become a bit of a gym, a Zoom gym for me during this time. So all my uh, weights and things are in the corner. 
And um, that's it. So thank you so much for coming by and taking the time to peek into my world here. And I hope you all stay healthy and happy and just be well out there. Thanks.